This is Coogan Cassius for iPhone London. We're at York Hall for the Frank Maloney in conjunction with Loaded TV show here. With me, I've got one of the funniest men on television at the moment, Paul Chowdhury. How are you, sir? Man? You good? Yeah, you good? Big boxing fan, Paul? Huge fan. Huge. have been a boxing fan since the Ali days, since the 70s. And uh, Maloney, you know, is a big fan of mine. I'm a big fan of his fighters. He asked me to come down, do a bit of guest commentating for this. Yeah. Yeah. So the big one tonight, clash of the heavyweights, mm. John McDermott versus Max Skelton. These guys have been around the heavyweight scene for a long time, um, you know, and they're always seems to be knocking on last chance saloon doors, but yeah. you know, they always seem to be coming back. So where do you see it going tonight? Skelton's been around for a long time, hasn't he? Yeah. He started um, quite late though, to be fair, Max Skelton. We all so. did, mate. You know, that's the problem in life, isn't it? You start too late. What is he about? Forty now? Uh, I think Skelton's older than forty. He <laughs> like you saying he was forty, let's leave it there. <laughs> So, you know, he's, 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 he's a pugilist, isn't he? Oh, indeed. So, but that's the thing with this. There's been a lot of uh, upsets tonight, actually, if you've been watching the undercards. There's been some good young fighters coming up. I'm thinking about going in there myself. Oh, well, listen, we're not probably dissimilar in weight, if you, if you fancy it. Oh, I don't know about that, mate. What are you? <laughs> You're about, what, 15 stone? Oh, I wish I was 15 stone. After the kebabs. I'm 17 stone. 17 stone? Yeah. You've got a kebab shop, What do you me? weigh? What do you weigh? About 10 and a half. How about I fight with one hand? How about I fight just, you know... Yeah, I could do that. Yeah? Yeah, we'll do one hand. Seven, that's like a different weight division. That's all right. That's not me fighting Amir Khan. What's he, about eight and a half? Nine stone? He's a light welterweight, so light it's welterweight. ten stone. Yeah, actually, I could fight him, but I'm quite tall for my weight. So, but you're, you're quite short for your what, weight. What are your uh, strengths as a fighter, would you say? Um, I used to box years ago. Um, what would my strengths be? I was like I was like a I was like a knockout king they used to call me. Yeah. Yeah, back in the day I was like a knockout king. I was a street fighter. I was a bare knuckle fighter. Yeah. Yeah, I used to fight in, in car parks and caravan sites. I'm making this all up now, by the way. <laughs> no, we, we sort of we was playing along with this anyway. Yeah, well, yeah. I was you know I used to fight for money back in the day. Now I I tell jokes for money. So obviously I mean you've, you're one of the most recognised comedians on that comedy circuit if you like. So. Mm. Um, what made you get into comedy in the first place, Paul? Uh, I didn't like getting punched in the face on a regular basis. Then I started doing comedy and I started getting punched in the face again. So if the jokes don't work, you get punched in the face. So, um, you know, my, my comedy is quite on the edge and I like to... People, people think I like to kind of be a bit of controversy. Bring, and I won the Loaded Best Stand-Up last week, Funniest Stand-Up Award. They asked me to come down, do a bit of guest commentating. You can't take the mick out of the, the boxes though, because, you know, they're here. That's different when you're doing a show. No one's there. You're not there when I'm going to take, make fun of your, set, your, your weight problem tomorrow night. So. Well, I could turn up one day. If you just want me as a figure of fun yeah, yeah, at well. one of your shows one day, I can sit in the front row and then you can just start digging me out. Yeah, I'm let's, up let's for that. Let's do that. Get you on my next TV show on Channel 4. Yeah, listen, I'm up for any of that. You know yeah. what I mean? But, let's um, get you down. No, listen, you genuinely are a funny person. Thank you very much for talking to iFilm London. And we're going to carry on with the fight, so good luck afterwards. No problem. Coogan Cassis with Paul Chowdhury here for iFilm London. Thank you very much.